Hello and welcome to a futuristic 3D Max tutorial. I am your host FreeU67 and today I will be showing you how to add bumps to your track with a modifier. Let's get started. Okay, so how I do this is I select vertices. Say we'll just select it straight away. But I don't select the outside or the inside row of verts. This, this way I don't mess up the connection between the wall and the track and the infield and the track. If your infield is attached to the track, well then yeah, you could go ahead and select your infield bit because then it'll also alter the edge of your infield. But I normally just select just the inside rows. All right, let's go to perspective so we can see it better. Now I'm going to do this, I'm going to over exaggerate so you can definitely see how the bumps are working. Let's go up to modifier list here and we will select noise. You can move the vertices left to right but I only usually move them up and down. If you have enough polys in your track up and down is all you need for your bumps. So scale is how often this happens. So let's do one. Obviously it didn't do much. Let's adjust our scale got a little more action. Cut it in half more. As you can see, more. Let's do one. Now you can see everything's moving. And we'll, we'll over exaggerate. As you can see, it's doing random bumps up and down. As you can see, all we do is change this number and it gives us every time a different output. So we want um, we don't want really tall bumps, so I'll do 0.5. As you can see, it gives us a, not necessarily a rough surface, but there are bumps, and they are small. But if you hit some of them the right way, obviously you you know you'll feel them more than others. And some you'll probably ramp you know if you straddle it, you'll you'll never know it's there. But you can see, so if we want it really bumpy on a small scale. We just go that route. You know, it does the bumps up and down, not just up. And you can barely tell the bumps are there with that. Uh, certain mods will really feel the bumps. Some mods just ride right over them. It really just depends on how the cars are set up. But we'll go back to over exaggerate it a little here. As you can see you know, it's all about the scale and how tall you want the bumps. Just to give you an idea of the difference it'll do. Now, say you come in here and uh, you put point 0.5. Now don't right click and collapse this. Export it out because sometimes I'll do the whole inside of a track at once or maybe just a corner. Export it out and if you don't like it then you can come right back in max. Alright, you know I want it bumpier. Export it out. You know maybe you need it farther apart. It's okay bumps but you know you want a random big bump here and there. Uh, don't collapse it then you know keep it this way. Normally, I just save the bumps for last. I tend to uh, map everything, get everything set up objects wise, get it working. You know, I'm ready to just about beta test and then I'll add some bumps in. Uh, I normally have people test with me because uh, it's so easy that all I have to do is give them the track GMT. I keep the track in one piece and then they, they can test the bumps. But also, don't collapse it because it opens the door for you to create a smooth track and a bumpy track. Uh, you can, you know, export it out and then just rename it. And then you could have two different versions of the same track. Um, and I never collapse it unless I'm 100% sure this is, what, you know, you go in, turn some laps, this is perfect, then I might collapse it. 
but you can always reselect it. The issue is you're not going to, you know, you're adding bumps to the bumps. Um, I also sometimes I will just uh, instead of collapse it, I'll delete it so it's smooth. So if I ever have to come back in and and maybe change the bumps around, since it's so easy to do, I'll just reselect them again. And that way, you know, like right now, if I collapsed it, these bumps are solid. You know, they stay. But if I delete, see the track goes back to flat. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it here at YouTube or at my forum, nsrs.joelcentral.com. Thanks for watching.